<laughs> okay, and we're back. Today we'll be doing arithmetic sequences. Welcome, you guys, to Yay Math. <laughs> Sequences. Let's jump right into it. And uh, what we're going to do, that was a demonstration. What we're going to do is arithmetic. What does this word remind you of? What does it mean? Arithmetic. All right. And a sequence. 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 Nice. <laughs> Very good. What does lazy mean? When you're lazy. <laughs> That's perfect, right? I don't know. Lazy. <laughs> I'm, not calling, I'm not calling you lazy. I just picked that word out of the blue. Maybe because I am. So, let's think of this. 6, 10, 14. Can you please give us the next three terms in this sequence? 18, 22, 26. Yes, this is the type of stuff you'll see on the SAT, that's right. Um, it's also kind of stuff you'll see with any sort of uh, analyzing trends in populations or in organisms, right? and this is the basis of it. Right? It's also in stuff you'll find in, let's say, the NSA. What does the NSA stand for? Um, National Security Agency. Oh. It's basically like they do code breaking. Code breaking. Okay. So we're going to do the basis of code breaking. So, but this simple, simple example is basically saying that this is a sequence and it's, it progresses with addition or subtraction, all right? That is what an arithmetic sequence is. It's a sequence that progresses with addition or subtraction, and that's what we're gonna do today, all right? Let me take this off. Okay, so let's write the problem, let's write this problem. Let's define what A means. Well, we're going to use the letter A. A will denote A sequence. <coughs> okay. So basically, if we say A1, A2, A3, AN. Why doesn't D have a 1? Because I'll get to that. Oh. You're, right. You're right. D doesn't have a 1. A is a sequence. So what do you think A1 would mean? Five. No, what would it mean? Um, the first, first sequence. First yeah. term in the sequence, correct. Good. Okay. A2 would be the? Second term. Second term in the sequence. All right. AN would be the? The nth term in the sequence. The nth term, right? So um, if you wanted, excuse me, the eighth term. Still choked up. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> if you want the eighth term of the sequence, that would be A8. Right? If you want the hundredth term, that would be A100. First term we got. Okay? So, they're asking for the first six terms. So, wouldn't it be A1 through A6? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. A1 through A6. Alright, let's actually take this down and add to it. A4, A5, A6, and then we can take that off to whatever other term we want, right? This sequence, supposedly, it goes on forever, right? Unless we put a cap on it. In this case, the first six terms. A1, you said it, is what? Five. Five. Okay. D, anyone can uh, think what the letter D means? 
It's actually what it stands for. It actually means the difference. Oh. So there's a wild stab in the dark. We'll see. It's the difference between each term. Oh. Okay? So D in the previous problem was 4 because it was adding 4 every time. D in this problem is going down by 2 each time. So 5. Go ahead. Three, three, everyone together. Three, one. 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 Negative, negative one. one. Negative one. Negative, negative three. three. Negative, negative five. five. Problem solved. What a, what a chicken dinner. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. 21. Yes. Is this the first term of the okay. sequence? Yeah. Okay. And the difference between each term, that's what the letter D means. Oh. So then oh. stand by, Miss Eraser. Ready? Wait, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, write it down, write it down. So I'm just telling you, stand by. And so the difference between each term is that we jump negative 2 to each order. So this is an arithmetic sequence in which the difference between each term is negative 2. Right? Really, really important that we understand this all right now because it's going to get harder. Yes? What would be the answer? Like? OK, good. Good question. Write the first six terms of the sequence. Okay, so you wouldn't have to do the, the whole A thing? No, no, I'm just demonstrating what A means, right? but the answer would be in the black here. Oh, so you write, since it's five, so, so the A says how many numbers there are going to be, and D says, <coughs> like, the, the, the space, difference. yeah. A is the, the sequence itself, and D is the difference, and this is the answer. This is the first six terms of the sequence, okay? All right, everyone, the, uh, the fantastic dandy, Delion Eraser is back. Of course. All right, so uh, do your thing. Creeping brain, 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 creeping brain. That was great. Creeping brain. Another chance. <laughs> I expected more of a heavenly light to enshroud. Wait, okay. Okay. Now, now we have our first formula. First formula. Here it is. First formula. We're going to explain what each of these mean. This formula will give you the nth term, meaning any term you want of any sequence. That's why this formula is very powerful. So remember the first example, 10, 14, right? 16, remember that one? I'll just jot it up here. Remember that? It wasn't. Uh, what was it? It was 6, 10, oh, yeah, 18, 18, 18 right? yeah, yeah, 10, 14, 18. What if I asked you for the hundredth term? Would you want to really keep adding yeah. plus four, plus four, plus four, plus no, four? You and you probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. And many people in the SAT end up doing that, right? You end up doing that. Oh, I plus four, plus four, plus four, a hundred times on the calculator, maybe enter, 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 right? Oh my God, I've, you've got me on the SAT. I've done that. Yeah, I did I've that. done that for that. sure. This formula will give you the hundredth term. Oh. This formula will give you the hundredth term, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. This would be, if I wanted, let's say, the hundredth term. Yeah. This would be a 100, right? What was the first term in this sequence? We already know it. This is the first term, 10 plus how many terms in the sequence again? 100. 100. N is 100, right? 100 terms in the sequence. Minus 1. Minus and it's 4, right? Times 4. Minus 1. And then, and then times 4, right? The difference is positive 4. So we'll put that down. All right, now this will give us the hundredth term in the sequence. Okay? And we'll do it with the, uh, we'll, we'll practice this one again. So 10 plus 100 minus 1 is? 99. 99 times 4. So basically it's 396. 396. Plus 10. 396 plus 10 <coughs> is 4. There you go, 100 term in the sequence, 406. Cool, huh? Can I check it? And then you can check it, right? You can yeah. check it. Let's do an example that's easy, more easily checked. I, Let's find this. Find 
We want ten. Let's do eight term. Eight term of an arithmetic sequence. All right. A eight. All right. And wait. A one. Excuse me. A one equals four, and D equals negative seven. Okay. So first, let's understand the question. We want the eighth term of a sequence that starts with four and progressively goes down by negative seven every time. Very easily done on the calculator. Let's try it with the formulation. So Here we go. Four plus. So let's do the formula. A what? A. A eight. Equals four. four. Equals four. Plus. Plus eight, eight minus, minus one. Eight minus one times negative seven. Times negative seven. Pause here. Question so far. <clears throat> okay. First term <clears throat> four. Eight is the number of terms. D is negative seven. It jumps down progressively negative seven every time. And so we go. 4 plus 7 <laughs> times negative 7, that's right. 4 plus negative 49 is negative 45. Negative 45. Yeah. And you guys want to check verbally now? Let's check verbally, huh? Can we get down to negative 45? Yeah. Okay, starting at 4. That's the first term, right? First term is 4. four. Minus three. 7 is? Negative 3. Negative 3. Negative three. Minus three. 7 is? Negative 10. Negative 10. Negative, 10. Negative, 13. Negative, 13. Negative 17. Negative 24. Negative 24. 17, 24, right. Negative 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 38. Negative 38. 38. 45. 45. Eight terms, 45. Negative yeah. 45. Nice. Ready? Ready, guys? OK, one more example. Make it count. Do I get a new theme song? Yeah. Go. Yeah. sequence having how many terms? Five. 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 We're genius. Nice. Yes. This is an arithmetic sequence having five terms in which the first term is what? Ten. ten. Wow. A equals We're ten. We're genius. And I'm good at this. This is an arithmetic sequence having five terms and the first term being ten and the last term <laughs> being what? Negative six. Yes. No way I'm actually right. Good job. Ah, but how okay. do you know it's negative? I'm giving it to you. <laughs> oh, but people said it. I know. Down. Uh, what number they said it after I wrote it. You guys, our heads are down. <laughs> how do they know? Oh, yeah, I was like, wow, they like it. Negative four. Yeah, negative four. So, this is an arithmetic <laughs> sequence <laughs> with 10 and negative 6, right? It's an so it's a easier example. <laughs> Let's solve for these three terms using the formula. Okay. Using the formula that's solved for these three terms. I'm saying it's arithmetic first and last, so let's put the formula down. A n equals a one plus n minus one d. So a two then, if you want. What do you think that a n is a five? Okay, so a five. What is a five? If you want to do it, uh, a five is negative six. The value of a five is negative six. Can we just try it out? I don't get that. So let's right here. Let's do this. A5. 
equals, equals oh. a one. That's it. Let's just do it like that here. I'll, I'll change that one. Thing. Huh? Oh. I'll change it to five. And this should be five then. This should be five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's an intermediate step. But let's jump into it. A five we know is negative, negative six. six. Oh, I see. A1, do we know it? Yeah. Uh, yes. 10 <coughs> plus five. N is 5 in this five. case. Yeah. 5 minus 1. 4. D, do we know yet? Yeah. No. no. We're solving for D. We're solving for D. So it's going to be 4 plus? Okay. So negative 6 equals 10 plus negative 4. 4D. Four. Ten plus four D. Where do you get the four? Oh. Five minus one times D. Minus ten. Minus ten. Minus sixteen is equal to four D. Negative sixteen equals four D. D equals negative four. How does this help us? Because it goes down by the negative four. Goes down four every time. So it's six. Two. Six. Two. Negative two. Yeah. Yeah. Not so bad, right? No, not at all. Not bad at all. We're going to do We're three more lessons home. like this. Three more lessons. The other lessons are, the first one was the arithmetic sequence. Then we're going to do arithmetic sums, meaning what is the sum of the first five terms in a sequence? Oh. Ooh. Ooh la la. Then we're going to do geometric sequences in which you progress by multiplying every time. <coughs> And then we're going to do geometric sums, in which what is the sum of a sequence that is multiplied from one to another. So it's going to get pretty oh, no. intensive. Oh, so intensivado. Be ready. Last time, ready? Everyone say.